Chess gang, what up? Welcome back to the grind. Let's see what we can do today. Okay, we're going to play the standard opening as black when the opponent plays e4. c65. I think everyone should just be expecting this opening at this point. <laughs> I'm going to play this until I reach a thousand plus. That's my goal, at least. Uh, I believe the answer to this is c5. As far as I remember. And I believe the answer to this is f5. I think there is the option to take here, but I'm pretty sure f5 is just the play here, and then e6, and then taking on d4 there. I'm not a huge fan of when the opponent plays e5. Um, I feel like it's the kind of stronger variation for white. Reason being is because it makes the f6 square part uh, or impossible for the knight to get out to. And at least I have personally have found that uh, my castle gets delayed quite a bit when the opponent plays e5 because Really? Hmm. He does have check. I don't quite want to lose the knight yet. Hmm. I haven't seen f4, bishop f4, from anyone. That's pretty new to me. Um, he'll probably play check. I'm almost kind of tempted to just get the knight out at this point, but I think just taking here is okay. Queen b6 would be kind of funny, huh? wonder if queen b6 is an idea. Basically forces his queen into a bad spot. I don't think he'd want to waste the tempo. Moving his bishop back to c1. Hmm. And then if he plays queen check, you can always just block with the knight. And then c6 is defended, and he can't play b5 anymore. Uh, it's really tempting. I think e6 is what I should be playing here. But yeah, queen b6 seems good. Also, like queen b6 because if he recaptures with the queen here, I might run into some issues but I have to get my bishop and my knight out hmm ideas 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 yeah if he I'm gonna actually just play e6 I'm gonna play queen b6 next move uh if he wants to go for the check I'll just block in with the knight whatever but I want to hammer I want to sacrifice this c pawn to the d4 square That's what I want to do. I think this bishop move is just kind of weak. I'm not trying to rag on Balthazar here, the GM from Portugal, but I think it's just kind of a weak move. But uh, maybe I'll stand corrected. I think the only... Gosh, yeah, is it a weak move? I don't know. Because typically in the Karo Khan, it's a d4 square. Uh, that gets hammered. Not so much the e5 square. This pawn kind of chills out for a while. Yeah, I was expecting that. I was expecting that. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to just trade queens off here, to tell you the truth, and just get the knight out. No, but even that's not very good. Okay, so I think the main problem with blocking in with the knight here is, well, no, it's pretty good, right? It is pretty good. C5, 
So he might play b5 next, and then he'll have two attackers on c6. <clears throat> so I think the kind of crappy part about this, well, it's not a big deal. I can just go protect c6 with the, with the queen. Yeah, but what I was saying was I might want to get the knight out to protect c6 here, but that's going to uh, sort of block in our dark square bishop here. Which I don't want to do. Okay, yeah, so he did exactly that. <laughs> so I think we have to play like c7 here. Yeah, we basically have to play c7. And then we can probably just kick his bishop. I think that's going to be the play. And his bishop's probably going to have to fall back to like d3 or something. Or like e2. I think c7 is the play. Maybe a6 next. I don't, I don't think he can add any more pressure to c6, right? Even if he wants to. He's probably going to play h4 next. Mm. Actually, yeah, this is a little bit of a problem. I, I need him to take on c5. That's the thing. I need him to take. I think he's going to play h4. I think he's going to play h4, so I'm just going to play, or sorry, g, uh, no, yeah, h4. I'm going to play h6. In case he jumps over here to g5, I'll just take, if he goes to h4, I can always just run it back. I guess I could have moved up, huh? Hmm. I'll just go pressure this bishop. It's pretty annoying having this pin here, and I want a castle already. Yes, yeah, so that's good. I could also just harass his queen here as well. Yeah, I think harassing his queen is good here. See, I don't want his knight to to land onto d4. I'm kind of tempted. I'm really tempted to play e4 and just kick his knight here. I, w I want his knight to get away. I don't care so much about the light square bishop. I want better activity with my dark square bishop here. But then again, just kicking the queen seems pretty good. Hmm. Kick the queen or attack the, the, the bishop. Where does his queen go? This queen is basically forced back to, like, these two squares. Hmm. <laughs> Ideas. Is b3 really a bad square for his queen, though? I think it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, I need to be careful here. Oh, no, I think I kind of blundered. I think I kind of blundered. I think he takes this back. And then if he... Yeah, he basically... Ah, I kind of I blundered. I kind of blundered. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. Ah, I should have played... I should have played bishop e4. It's basically a hanging piece at this point. I think he's going to move his queen, but I'll... I won't be surprised if he takes back with the bishop here. I, I messed up. I messed up. I, I should have just went for the knight. Okay, so I got really lucky there. I got really lucky. He could have taken that. Um, and then this... Uh, he would... I'd have to protect the knight. And then he could basically take the pawn and the rook. So I think he kind of blundered that. Um, 
So the next thing I'd like to play is... I think I'm going to go for his knight. See, I just don't want his knight landing here. That's the thing. Um, and I still don't have a great way to get my dark square bishop out, so... Um, I need to get my knight out to, like, e7 and then get my bishop out. Hmm. I need to castle, too. I could always push up here and just make, like, a mega pawn structure. But... Maybe I'm okay just trading knights off here at this point. I'm just going to attack his knight. I want to remove the defender off of h2. You see, at this point, I can go e6, or was that, excuse me, e7, f5 with the knight, and I think I'll be okay. And then once his knight leaves, I'll probably just take this pawn on d4 here. I do have to keep this in mind. Hmm. Trading off or taking the knight? I think I'd rather take the knight. He's blocked his queen in from protecting d4, so he's going to be forced to recapture with a pawn, and then once I get my knight out onto d4, I feel like he's going to have a harder time. Oh, but he does just recapture with his queen, but even that... f3 is not, like, the best square for his queen. I'm just going to take the knight. Okay. And at this point... I'm just going to go for the pawn and retake with the queen here. Or, uh, excuse me, retake with the knight. It's move 13. I need to castle already. Yeah, so I can win this pawn now. And attack his queen at the same time. I think he's going to be forced to dance around a little bit. So I wonder at this point if it's better to take the pawn. I mean, this pawn's not really going anywhere. He could protect it. But... I think it's just too good not to take it right now. Might just bring his rook out or something. I can always bring my dark square bishop out to here now. Yeah, I think what he's going to go for... Well, he can't really go for this move, right? He can't really go here because my queen's protecting... Do I go protect the knight? That's the question. I believe this does win a rook. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. He just takes. Never mind. Just kidding. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> I'm just going to play a developing move here. I need to be mindful that his bishop is sort of on the same diagonal as my queen. I might want to go like b6 at this point. But I think my next move is just e7 and then castle. I do need to be worried about him going queen c2. But I think if he does go queen c2, I probably just go knight f5 and just block in. Interesting. 
That's probably just a developing move. No big deal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like having the knight on d4. That seems pretty bad. But I'm just going to play e7 in castle. I'm not going to think about it too hard. Mm. What is he planning? Yeah, I kind of want to go B6 just to prevent this. I think he might be looking to get like two attackers. Two attackers on c5. I only have one defender, so I do want to be mindful of that. Maybe he brings the queen out or something. Hmm, what am I missing here? Almost castled the wrong way. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was expecting. Yeah, I think he may have blundered here. Um, what am I missing here? I'm fine to trade this knight off. Probably take with the queen. Yeah, I I don't like this <laughs> situation. He might push a pawn up. So I'm going to play it safe and just go b6. If his queen, yeah, I mean, if his rook was just hanging out here, I could go for the check and then take it. But obviously, it's not the case right now. I'm just going to play b6. Play it safe here. Probably start putting my rooks out into the C file here. You really want to play that, huh? Ah, that just seems really bad. I don't know. That's what am I missing? E3. And then what? What am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing some move here. If he recaptures with the pawn, I give him check, and then I win this pawn too. I basically win two pawns here. I think he might... Yeah, he can't bring his rook out to c7. Yeah, I don't know. This kind of seems like a blunder. But... I mean, there's the check here. I basically win two pawns out of this exchange. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It, it just seemed like he blundered here. Now I sort of have the ultimate center here. It's going to be really hard for him to defend. Um, I'm actually really tempted to just trade off. But in the same vein, taking the pawn seems really good. I'm missing here. He might go c7. That's like my only concern. But even this uh, blocks c7. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I might just start trading the rooks off. This should be pretty straightforward to win. I also just have another attack on a pawn here. If I could trade the knight for the bishop, I think that would put me in the best spot. This knight on e7 is kind of trash, but I don't want to trade off on f5 um, because it's going to ruin my pawn structure. I, I like keeping this pawn structure here. It, I feel like it's pretty strong, especially considering that he has a light square bishop right now. He can't really get through the pawns. Yeah, this, this move right here was just... I, I think this is where his game is going to fall apart, was with uh, bishop e3. Okay, so he notices that, which is good. I'm going to go for the rook trade here. Then after we trade off, um, I still have an attack on this piece here. I think there's no reason like not to play the rook trade. Yeah, it's just simplify the game. It's fine. He might. Maybe I should have went with the other rook, uh, to keep some protection on f seven. He might be looking for some f seven weirdness. Okay, that's fine. I can just sneak back here. Wouldn't be surprised if he puts his queen on f3 at some point. Or tries to attack <clears throat> from this way. That's fine. He still has to deal with this rook here. <clears throat> Yeah. Decent move, decent move. I can try to block in. Yeah, maybe maybe putting the rook out here wasn't the play. Maybe I should have used the other rook. Hmm. Still has a weak pawn out here. We go for the queen trade or something. I have a rook out on the open file, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to play it slightly safer. I'm going to play it slightly safer. I don't want to make any dumb mistakes. Probably start trying to push some pawns, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so he's trying to... Looks like pin this pawn here. Hmm. I could try to block in. Like something like that is actually okay. Hmm. Knight g6. Knight g6 seems 
a little out there, but I think it might actually work. Just unpinning here, and then if we can trade off these rooks, I'll actually be thrilled. He's going to get his, he could get his queen onto g6. Do I really care about that? I don't really think I do because after I take, might be blundering here. See, I don't want to, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to open this up. I'm actually just going to play g6. I know it's, Kind of looks weird, but and then I also have the option of e5 next, and that would fork his bishop and his queen, and I'd be a okay to get rid of the knight for the bishop at this point. If he takes, I'll be happy. I can basically just trade some pieces off. Yeah, opening up the F file seems okay. Yeah, 95. 95 next. I think 95 is the next move. There's also like, uh, what is that? Queen b4. Attacking this rook might force his rook back. And then attacks this pawn as well. Although I don't want to get sort of hung up on side quests going after pawns that aren't doing anything. The main threats here are the queen, the light square bishop. So I want to deal with those threats first. Yeah. Yeah, queen e uh, 95 seems like the best. I don't think there's anything he can do here. Like, even if he goes and sacks the bishop, he basically just has to protect here. Probably have to fall back to, like, f3 or e2. Or just let me take his queen. <laughs> That'd be perfectly acceptable, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He wouldn't do that. Getting the bishop off the board here is fine. Oh god. How did I not notice that? Ugh. Well, you know what? <laughs> How about this, Balthazar? Uh, which one is better here? I can't believe I didn't see that. Man, what a trap. It's actually funny that this is still kind of even, as shocking as that is. <laughs> I think I have to go after his queen. I can't believe- oh man, what a move. <laughs> I did not see that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go attack his queen. Uh, this is- okay, okay. This just got really interesting. This just got really interesting. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Oh man, haven't done that in a while on the channel. 
Have not done that in a while. This should be pretty fun. Two two rooks and a knight. Oh no. Two rooks and a knight versus a queen and a rook. Man, I did not see that move coming. I'm just going to be totally honest. That was a good move from him. That was that was a good move. A really poor move for me. Mm -mm. So the knight's going to be like my best friend this round. Okay. Mm. I just have to find like a really sick fork somewhere. Okay, how are we going to do this? Maybe I just get my rooks out. This is going to be a very, very interesting game. I mean, if I can just find one good fork, I, th I think I'll be okay. Mm. He's probably going to be looking to put his uh, rook here and just look for the mate. Uh, which is fine. He can't really... Oh no, that's defended by the queen. Yeah, I have to protect uh, g3 here. Oh wait, why didn't I just go for the check? I should have went for the check. That was stupid. Yeah, I needed to go for the check. What was I thinking? I need to protect the back rank as well. Well. I'm sweating bullets. Sweating bullets. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> Going after this pawn. I don't know how much I care about that pawn at this point. Um, maybe I should have protect the F. I think I should have protected the F file. Um, well, I'm going to just try some things. I think I have to protect the F file. See, my knight is blocking here. I 
I think this is okay. My knight's blocking his uh, king's escape square. I think if I just get c1 and then rook h1, I think I'll be okay. If he takes this pawn, I just move up, protect the rook, and then I should be okay. His king is cut off. His king can't move. So if he pushes his pawn, I just push my rooks down, and then it's basically GG. I only have 12 seconds left. Good grief. Yeah, I think c1 is the next move. Um, yeah, that's fine. So this protects the rook, and then rook h1 should just be winning. He can go for the check, but it's not going to do anything. Bro. <laughs> That's unreal, dude. <laughs> Uh, bro, that's unreal. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> My hands are shaking. <laughs> I, I can't believe that game, bro, after blundering the queen. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Whew. Yeah, he just he played the bigger blunder, unfortunately. So and he had plenty of time too. Oh let me see what this blunder was. Oh. So he followed that up with a blunder too. Okay. Alright, now that I've gotten my nerves out of my system, let's let's take it from the top. <laughs> Okay, e4, c6, d5, all good moves. Taking here is the play. Okay. Taking is the play. And then he probably what? Uh, <clears throat> what does he play after that? 92? Yeah, I see. I'll have to remember this. Um, yeah, I need, I need to remember this move here. What I've noticed in the engine lines in the Karokan after c6 d5, like any time the opponent has just three pieces on these three squares, e4, d4, and c3, the engine seems like it always recommends taking on e4. Like even if, for example, like let me just play this out. Um, even if he goes something like this. The engine always recommends taking for some reason. It's like a book move, I guess. Um, so I need to start remembering that. Anytime there's, anytime there's this structure, just take. Maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't know what other piece could come out here. But Looks like the engine wanted him to take there. Okay, so blocking in was the play. This ignores an opportunity to capture a free pawn. Hmm, it's not really a free pawn, though, after the queen comes out, though. Bishop f5. Yeah, I thought f uh, bishop f4 was, like, a poor move. His dark square bishop didn't end up doing anything. It was too hindered on these squares. Getting the knight out. Getting the knight out to add some more protection to c6. Uh... Yeah, doesn't that block in the dark square bishop, though, from really going anywhere? Isn't that the problem? I played h6 because... So, let's just see. Aren't I just losing my bishop here if he plays this move? Well, I mean, I guess I could go back to, like, e4, huh? And then it's a dead even position, almost. Okay, so h6. Pushing the pawn up here. Yeah, this was a huge blunder here. I I really feel like he should have um yeah, taken taken here. Yeah, looks like the engine recommends that too. <clears throat> right, because so if I played this, he takes the knights under attack. Queen has to defend. So 
he can ascend if I take his bishop, he takes uh the rook here and then he's winning a rook. And then I basically have to like protect with the knight and then he can just dip. So yeah, that was I'd say that was his first big mistake was just not taking that pawn. Um I did I did talk about that during the game. Yeah. And not even so much that this knight is pinned, but it's also just, yeah, losing a rook. Yeah, more than anything. Taking the bishop, I don't know. I personally, once the board's developed, I just like getting rid of this knight because it removes the sort of the pawn on the rim from the castle. So that's why I like to play that move, but... Yeah, and recapturing with the knight there, that was a free piece, so. This threatens to tactically win a bishop. Yeah, so I was talking about like b6 here, but it looks like the engine recommends like a7. But unfortunately, he just followed it up with a blunder. I think he was trying to add one more attacker to this bishop, because there was nothing else that I could add. Like I couldn't add the rooks or the knight here, and none of the pawns could do it. Um. But yeah, taking here was just, or uh, excuse me, knight b3 was just a, a, a kind of a blunder. Yeah, this, I think this is where his position fell apart. Um, if he had a, if he had, if his queen was defending e3, it probably would have been fine. But yeah, just this line here <clears throat> was just too good. So pushing the pawn up. Okay. Hmm. G5, huh? Gotcha. Okay. Queen D6. E5. <clears throat> hmm. This is not an inaccuracy, but there was something better for you. Okay. Man, what a move, huh? <laughs> I haven't blundered the queen on the channel in a while, so I feel okay about it. I feel some consolation because... I was able to win that rook back. I think if I wasn't able to get the rook back with the knight, it just would have been GG. But just the fact that the knight could still capture the rook and get a check there and still be on the board uh, was the way to go. I do kind of wonder if taking this knight, or excuse me, taking the e1 rook would have been better. I'm just wondering. 0.48. 2.3. Yeah, so taking the F rook was the idea there. So. This threatens to win a material because a defender is pinned. Where now? Hmm. I see. Oh wow, that's crazy. That's a crazy line. Uh, so what it came down to like, what, one, two, three, four, five, five pawns and a knight versus, what was that, two pawns and a rook? That would have been a pretty interesting endgame. All things considered, I'm actually really happy with like how this game went. Not just the result, but just how the game played out even after the dreaded down button. Even after making that one bad move. Yeah, taking the pawn here was a bit of a mistake. The only thing I'll say is that he had to, he was going to have to sack something. These three pieces were essentially on his side of the board. They were causing a lot of threats and they had to be dealt with. And like these pawns were pretty harmless at this point. 
So using his queen to go on the pawn hunting miss missions wasn't the play. And I'm like, I'm totally guilty of it too. I, I do that all the time. Um, but it's a habit that like I'm trying to break because like these are the threats, but these pawns are not the threats. So it's like you kind of have to use your pieces to like take care of these. So even if it means sacking a rook, I do wonder is like a queen versus so like let's say he just sacks his knight here. I do wonder are two rooks better than one queen? I guess they are technically, huh? Like material point wise or whatever. And then, yeah, this was just a very satisfying checkmate. Just the fact that this knight was defending g3 was really strong. Um, all it took was one square, because if that knight wasn't here, he'd be able to run his king all over the board. So, yeah, really fun game. Really fun game. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a nail biter. And I'm not going to lie, I was I was really nervous about losing this one. So, But, <laughs> but it was fun. GG Balthazar GM14 from Portugal. Thanks for the game and see you guys in the next one.